such a good job. I think that you need to stir. You literally put it like up here. What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. We just took an orange theory class. I just took a 930 class. One of my old coaches, Caroline, came to work out in that class. She doesn't coach anymore, but um, she just was working out. And it was so good to see her. And that was such a good class too. It was a power workout and I just had a really good workout. I'm feeling really happy in a really good mood. Not that I've been like in a bad mood this week, I haven't, but I just feel like I'm having a really good morning. I went to Smoothie King. We obviously need to go to the grocery store. Just have a good weekend. The sun's gonna come out today. I think it was raining yesterday. I'm baking, sisters. Light bulb, this is my favorite light in our whole house. That's a joke. The recess lighting in the living room is like a gift from God, but the light up there also was so bright it literally burnt out and pissed. Um, so I need to place a work order because they change our lights for us and it's like a pretty nice little luxury situation we have going on i'm getting ready baking my face i've been texting back and forth with the florist because it's seed events and design seated it's seated events and design um that's so amazing and jenna and chris are like they're just the coolest people ever so i've been texting back and forth with jenna she owns the company and we're just like talking through things and she just sent me like the whole ceremony backdrop and what we're going for and i am so obsessed i can't wait for you guys to see it anyways so she's just like a freaking cool person if i had like any advice to give you guys sorry my closet has not become a mess again i'm a i'm a mess there's so much shit going on in my life right now like between work and wedding planning and um um but it's a lot to handle okay and it's just a lot going on um i don't have time to like sit here and clean the apartment or organize my closet i really have time to do laundry and it is just a very busy season of life right now it's probably a good thing we don't have a dog right now i was just gonna tell you guys is it so funny because tiktok has literally made me like has this happened to anybody else i don't put my makeup on the same way anymore and i why are my eyes red that's weird i didn't think about it until after I already did my concealer, but I don't do like the downwards V anymore. Now I do like a little thing here and then you go up the sides. And also, um, I'm using the Fenty contour stick. I used to put this like right here where my face is naturally contoured right there. But now TikTok says to lift your face, you literally put it like up here. So I've been doing that. And your blush, you put like all over and up isn't that weird but i just think it's so funny how like literally people wonder why we watch stuff so much and it's because high school and college didn't teach me how to fucking apply <sighs> i need to stop saying that word it's because freaking college and high school didn't teach me how to apply my contour tiktok and youtube taught me how to do makeup and honestly all the necessary things that i need to know in life so people wonder why we're so addicted to our phones it's because the places we were forced to go for years didn't teach us shit. Isn't that so interesting? I think about that all the time. Like, half the time, am I on my phone for pure enjoyment? Yes. Am I obsessed with my phone? Yes. Am I trying to break up with my bad habits because I've downward spiraled, downward spiraled a little bit? Yes. But do you know how many things I learn on TikTok? A lot. Okay. That was my little rant. But seriously, very true. Anyways, I'm gonna um, not brush, but I'm going to gently pat in. This brush that I'm using sucks. It's actually, I don't even know where it's from. I think it's from like Target. I really would love to have all it cosmetics brushes, but they're actually expensive. So I was like, huh, oh, okay. Um, I'm not gonna get that. I go back and forth each day if I like my Sephora foundation brush or not, so. Yeah, some days I like it, some days I'm like, oh, I don't really like that. But you know what? I'm like all over the place right now anyway, so yeah. We're doing venue walkthrough next Tuesday. I'm telling you guys that's coming up in the next vlog that you're going to see. And cake tasting on Tuesday. 
Our florist is coming with us to the venue. It's gonna be an epic vlog. Like, I'm very excited about it. So, I'm gonna go finish my makeup. Put on an outfit. I'm trying to decide if I want to wear a jacket with this or what I'm feeling. Um, because I can't decide. I feel like a jacket would be really cute. My pants are from Shop Homework Turtleneck. Uh, I think this one's urban. This one's either urban or free people. Unsure. But, um, I need to, like, reorganize this and put the clothes that are, like, um, older in my closet and put newer clothes on here. I've already worn that jacket. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. It's a little difficult for me right now. I think we're just going to keep this outfit simple today. I just wasn't, like, feeling a jacket with it. The jackets that I tried on with it, I was kind of like, meh. And it's not super cold outside, so... I think that we're fine. And I like the color blocking with the black and the brown. So we're just gonna go with that. Um, oh, me and this person are backing out at the same exact time. That's a little awkward. Do you know what's so awkward? Like, do you watch those TikToks that are like things that make you really uncomfortable or things that make you really awkward? I was thinking the other day, I think something that is so uncomfortable and I have no idea why is when you're driving and you make eye contact with somebody else who's driving in another car and you're like, you look over and you're like, oh God, isn't that so awkward? I don't know why but I just think it is. Um, so, anyways. On the way to Target, I'm gonna shoot here really quick. Hopefully it works. I am at Starbucks and I want to go try, did I already tell you guys this? I'm suffering from short-term memory loss and lately it's been bad. Um, I wanna try the venti iced matcha with two pumps chai and I'm trying to order it online so I can just go in and get it, you know, like to simplify life a little bit. Um, I can't find the option for chai. So am I stupid? Like I've gone through everything. Okay, went in. I think that you need to stir the bottom. So they asked me if I wanted a straw and I said no. And then it occurred to me that they would be asking me if I wanted a straw. And if they ask you if you want a straw, chances are because you have to stir it. And I need to like learn. But I, every time I say no because I don't want a straw, but luckily this time I actually have a straw um, in here from like the, the last time. Did I tell you guys this? I'm also filming a day in my life for TikTok. So I'm trying to do YouTube stories and the day in my life for TikTok. It's all, it's all good here. Wow. I actually like that a lot. Is this healthy for you? Probably not. I would assume no. I should tell my mom she should get this because she hates coffee. I bet she'd like this. Sun is out and I'm out of Target. All I got was con shampoo. I was hoping that they had this one. It's like a catch-all in the home decor section and it's white, but it's lifted. It's on like this platform. And I saw it on someone's Instagram story. They said that they got it from Target recently. So I was seeing if maybe ours had it. It didn't, but totally okay. I was just checking. Haven't been to Home Goods in a minute, but I think that it's okay. Now that I have the painting, I'm like not in the biggest rush to find this Sarah Brooke painting. It is a goal of mine to one day achieve that, but it's not like a priority at the moment. And maybe it'll be like men when you're like least expecting for them to come along, they come along. So maybe now that I'm like not exactly looking for it, now it'll come, you know? Who knows? Um, what is on my priority is trying to sell our couch and getting a new couch and because I just really want a white one and um, after that upgrading our bed to a king potentially it's still up in the air I can't decide if I want a king or if we should just keep the queen for a little bit until we actually like buy a house or something I mean it would be really nice to have a king and we completely have the room for a king I don't know I need to make decisions but I'm not in the position to make a decision right now because I can't make a decision and I haven't made up my mind so I'm just kind of like going with the flow our apartment is not anywhere near complete though I feel like it won't be like done being decorated until probably within like a year of us moving in because our lease ends in December. Also, what happens if I like decorate, decorate, decorate and for some reason we move in December, you know? Like you just never know. So that's another reason why I'm kind of like taking it slow. If we sign another year lease then I'll be like full force. 
but at the same time like I don't know I would I don't want to move I love that apartment so much but like you never know what's gonna happen in a year's time so that's another reason why I'm kind of just like taking my time and buying pieces I know I want in this apartment but I want to take with us into the next apartment or wherever apartment I don't think we're gonna buy a house anytime soon so yeah that's a lot of responsibility buying a house I just don't really see us doing that also what if we moved to Nashville in December, you know? Who knows? She wanted me to wait to say what I thought, so I'm just gonna pretend I didn't take a sip yet. She can notice that. Look at my mound of clothes that need to be hung up behind you. Oh, it needs to be stirred again. It's really freaking good. You like it? Yeah. I'm gonna make this for lunch today. I got it literally weeks ago from Trader Joe's. I just haven't eaten it yet. Coming over here. Now, while that cooks, I'm going to edit. The weekly vlog. Here we go. Here's my pizza. For dinner tonight, I don't even remember the last thing I vlogged. What was the last thing I vlogged? No, I vlogged before that. I don't know. We've just been. That needs to be handled. I understand. We've just been like hanging out on the couch, having a little lazy afternoon. I started editing, but I didn't I mean, finish I've been editing. Working. Well, yeah, we've been sitting on the couch though. For dinner, I'm doing um, mm. ground turkey and marinara sauce pasta in a Caesar salad. Still trying to keep the healthy meals going. and healthy side of wealth. that Shay Mitchell put up. Um, it's like a tortilla spinach and egg tortilla thing. I don't even know what it is, but I saw it on TikTok yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. So I tried making it this morning and I'm about to try it. Mmm. That's so good. Also, my face is starting to peel from my facial I got on Thursday. And so I just washed my face and put a lot of moisturizer on it, but my whole face was flaky. It was very interesting. So good morning, happy Sunday. I recommend making this, it's on her TikTok. As much as I wanted to sit on the couch and just do nothing today, I decided to go to Starbucks <laughs> and Target. Which is funny because I went to both of those yesterday and didn't get what I needed at Target. Like, I got two things that I needed, but I didn't get um, exactly what I needed. So, yeah. Like, I left and then I got home and I was like, wait, I didn't even get that stuff. Does that happen to you guys ever? It's I honestly feel so stupid when that happens to me. And it's 68 out right now. It feels so good. I'm wearing this sweatshirt and biker shorts. And... Yeah, it feels amazing outside. So, I'm going to order 
Starbucks right now so I can just go run in and grab it because the drive through is on the other side of town. Okay, I didn't forget to ask for a straw this time, guys, so I can stir up my situation. One day, iced coffee with white mocha. Um, I feel like they kind of stirred it for me already, but. I looked at the specs on this, like the macros or whatever, the spec, I don't know what I'm saying. It's 80 calories, if anyone was wondering. Okay, so I went in and I got face masks and I also got coffee. I did decide I'm gonna fix my nails and I'll put my nail inspo on the screen right here. I'm just making sure that these are the correct masks, but also I quite possibly don't even know how I can return them now because I just tore, oh, they're, they're the right ones. Okay. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys this morning while I was scrolling on the couch, I am so excited. The, okay, so the phone case I have right now is from Case Defy, and I love it. I will probably, for like, never say never, but as of now, only get their cases for, like, the rest of my life because they actually, like, legit protect your phone, and I've shattered my phone far too many times for me to decide to make a bad decision and switch cases but you know how you can customize your cases and put different patterns on it with your own pictures like make a collage so I did that but I did that with my mood board that I created for 2021 and I took pictures from that and made a phone case and I'm so excited about it I can't wait to show it to you guys so yeah it's probably gonna be here like in two weeks or so because I'm sure it takes time for it to like print and stuff um but this one was just kind of like the sides were getting gross and I couldn't get it clean so I was like well, whatever I'll just order a new one so I'm, I'm really excited about it I think it was a really smart idea too because I was scrolling through their website and I was like I just kind of pick one that I really really loved and then I was like wait 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 I should make my own so I did and I'm so excited I also didn't make an appointment and also my face is like really peeling so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my girl but there's like no point in making an appointment now because I'm right outside of the place so we're just gonna give it our best shot I'm sure everyone who works there is really good though I'm done with my nails these are my favorite I've ever gotten here's what they look like so the lady who normally does my nails is on vacation for two weeks and so this guy did them and he did such a good job and I got oval shape and the bottom is nude 11 from new genesis it's called emma and then it's just a pink acrylic paint i mean a white acrylic paint and a brown acrylic paint and here's my nails they're so stinking cool i'm so excited about them so nails are done it's 3 15 i had to wait for like 30 minutes for them to get me in but it was okay it was worth the wait so i'm gonna head home now and probably eat some lunch i'm debating on if i want to take a peloton ride today because i'm not going to be able to work out on tuesday because our wedding planner and uh, like all of us we have an appointment to go to the venue at 8 30 in the morning which means i mean i guess i could work out i would literally have to wake up so early and i just like don't really feel like doing that so i'm just gonna take tuesday off but i'm trying to decide on if i want to work out this Sunday or next Sunday so and I have time this Sunday like it's a very relaxing Sunday I was thinking it would be kind of fun to do a Peloton ride and then shower and then get dinner since I'm eating by myself and Colin won't like be here because he's working he's filming a video today so yeah I'll just kind of like keep that up in the air I guess I feel like I could work out I don't really feel so sore I don't know listen to your body we'll see when I get home but I chugged that coffee in the car before I went in there and I'm like super energized right now. Also, I was trying to sit straight up cause like, you know, when you get your nails done and you slunch over, I'm trying to like really work on my posture. Colin has amazing posture and mine is like subpar compared to his. And so I'm really trying to work on it. Like shoulders back, chest out ladies. That's the goal. I really don't know if I'm eating alone tonight or not. I don't know how long it's going to take Colin to film. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do for dinner. I might just get takeout though because we need to go to the grocery store. So we'll probably end up doing that like tomorrow mid-morning-ish. But I am going to cut up some cucumber and dip that in some green goddess dip. And um, I don't know, maybe like relax and watch a vlog for a little bit or like watch a YouTube video. And then... This pile of clothes over here, they're clothes that I've been like gifted recently or like they're just newer clothes and they really need to be hung up. So I'm gonna like tackle that and get rid of that because that's been there for like a week and a half now and I'm not proud of it. 
So we're gonna fix that. easier to pick out outfits too i'm over here trying to debate if i want to go do a peloton or not it's just a hard decision i kept going back and forth on the peloton ride and i concluded i really needed to get up and stop being lazy and i've cleaned up for the most part and i don't have like a ton of stuff to do so i was like you know what you're gonna get Chipotle for dinner, so let's go work for the Chipotle. So, putting my hair up, I'm trying to decide if I wanna take pre-workout. Like, do I need to take pre-workout? I'm wearing, I haven't worn this set in so long, or this color, um, set active in rain, I think it was. It was literally one of like the first, it was my like second order I ever made from set active. But it's this really pretty blue color. But it, like, it was, you know, when stuff's hiding in the back of your closet and you kind of forget about it, that's what happened with this. Do I want to take pre workout? No. Actually, that's a really bad idea. What if it, like, really wakes me up and I can't fall asleep tonight? Yeah, we're just gonna go with it. Let's go to the gym. All alone, there's some serious moody vibes going on in this gym right now because, like, the lights are off. But. I'm excited. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. But I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh. Take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in your sweet Finished my workout Got no idea how many calories I burned Because I didn't have my Apple Watch with me So that kind of sucks Got my little wipes I'm about to wipe though down the platform. It's seven o'clock. I was waiting to see if Colin was gonna text me and tell me that he was done, but he hasn't yet. So I'm just gonna go upstairs and grab my purse and my car keys and go to Chipotle and get some dinner. Back home, so long at Chipotle. They were so backed up. Colin and I, well, he's not here, but we never order online at Chipotle because like in case that happens and they get really backed up and in like the chance it would have been quicker just to go in there and order. We just have learned never to order online because it, it was like a prime example tonight. There were so many people. I have the hardest time getting my heart rate monitor charger port part open. Um, there were so many people, there was like at least 10 people who had online orders in there waiting and they were definitely understaffed and I just hate when that happens and we learned never, ever, ever order online, just go in and order. So I'm glad I did that, but I still was in there for like 30 minutes, it was crazy. I ended up just getting a bowl and chips and guac. Uh, literally hate when they don't give you a fork. Okay, Colin's here. We watched the Free Britney documentary. Don't worry, I won't record you. He's in his undies. Um, we are both team Free Britney for sure. Colin's excited that him and her are both Sagittarius's. Listen, you just crawled into bed and we got the entire shot of you and your undies in the mirror back there. Why'd you do that? I'm leaving it in. Are you embarrassed? Free Colin. <laughs> Here's a good look at my face peeling. 
I hope it's better by like tomorrow because I have things to do this week. You know, it was good for like one day, but now I'm like, hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get, brush my teeth. I already do my skincare and get ready for bed. I had it sit on my chest. I picked it with a scab and now it's really ugly, but you know, self-sabotage. We all do it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Free Colin and we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.